Hey guys, Michael Sherp here. Welcome to this tutorial about how to set up Xdebug with MAMP and PHP Storm on OS X. So let's start off with a real life example. Well, sort of, I guess. Um, we are here in a functions.php file of our 2014 theme. And this if statement is causing us a lot of problems. Well, not really, but we'll use this as an example. And what we would really do is we would like to set a breakpoint here and essentially stop here and check this content with and see what happens. Okay, obviously this is a dummy example, but you get the point. Now, don't get worried, I'm here actually in Sublime. We'll switch over to PHP Storm in a second. Even though I secretly love Sublime way too much, but yeah, PHP Storm is where the debugging's at. And before we do, I want to explain one small difference that, that I was having problems with. And also, before I start this, I want to say apologies on the terminology. I'm probably going to be way off on everything I talk about today because this is not really my specialty, nor do I have a lot of experience with this. Quite frankly, I was spending about two or three days trying to set this up and actually have already tried more than once and didn't manage and now I finally managed so I figured I make a video and even if this is for my future self um, yeah I, I had to make this because it, it was actually more complicated than it should be and I feel like a lot of people could hopefully benefit from this. So what I want to talk about first is the two different variations of debugging. One is essentially let me just call this direct debugging which would be kind of like running PHP from the command line and calling a script and using the debugger on it. This is what 99% of all the tutorials and descriptions and whatever videos out there are about. They show you how to set this up, basically how to debug from the command line. And that's not what I really care about. What I want to do is, is, is an example like this here. I'm in WordPress here and I have my a file that's called functions.php that gets called at some point, who knows when, and I want to stop my program here. And for this, I, I need to do remote debugging. Essentially, via the browser, I go to a page and I want wherever this, this breakpoint is, I want the debugger to stop right here. And this is pretty hard because if you wanted to do this with uh, with command line, you would need to know which script to call first, or I guess which which program, not program, which file to, to launch first, and then trigger all the other ones, blah, 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 way too complicated. So this is why the remote debugging is, in my opinion, awesome. All right, let's get started. There are a bunch of steps, so hopefully stick with me. And if you do have any questions at any point in time, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Also, if this actually helps you and you get Xdebug to run because of this tutorial, please let me know because after all, I make all this stuff for free. And the only thing that keeps me making tutorial is if people tell me that it helped them. So that makes me happy and I would appreciate this. All right, let's get started. All right, let's continue with our first step. And this is finding our PHP version in MAMP. So launch MAMP, right now I already have it running. So I'll, I'll switch over and you go to preferences and PHP. And in here you see the PHP version and mine is 5.5.3. So for the rest of the example, we're gonna assume this is our PHP version. So obviously, if this is different for you, just substitute anywhere I use 5.5.3 with your number. Now, I do want to point out something at this point, and this is, um, yeah, this is kind of weird, and I have no idea why it is that way, but it is that way. And this is most of the time, if not every single time, your actual PHP version from the command line, or I guess terminal to be correct, is something else. And for me here, this is 5.432, okay? And this is causing problems sometimes, um, especially if you wanna run something like WPCLI, and I have no idea if you, it would even cause problems with, with Xdebug, but what I did is I set my PHP version to the one from MAMP. And that way I know I won't have any problems, I'm always on the same PHP version, and end of story. 
So this is our second step. Let's switch to that. In order to set up our PHP version to be the same in our terminal and MAMP, what we have to do is add two lines in our bash profile. Again, don't ask me why, I just know it works. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, open your bash profile in your fa favorite editor. In my case, the bash profile is gonna be at my, my root folder and then bash profile and essentially like this and obviously that the sublime and the beginning is just to open it in my in sublime text if you want to open it in vim nano whatever else just go for it or your default just click just type open actually let's do that that way everybody's gonna have something that works and then then your bash profile is gonna open now as you can see mine has already a bunch of stuff in it um that's i guess a story for a different day and here the stuff that is important is at the bottom here now for you this will not be in there this is in there because i've already had it but what you want to do is essentially this is just a comment and then write this line just as you see it but important here replace it with your php version okay so exactly this if this gives you any problem then check actually the folder if for whatever reason your map is somewhere else who knows in reality uh, but the important part is this this PHP version and then save it and then restart your terminal and once you've restarted the terminal we're gonna check again which version it is and hopefully everything worked out so let me just restart the terminal here and if everything worked we should actually now be on our new version of PHP or I guess on the one that MAMP's using All right, surprise, surprise. And we have 553, okay? So this is how you set up your PHP version to be the same as MAMP. Our next step is starting to set up Xdebug. And essentially what happens in MAMP is that Xdebug is already pre-installed. So you don't actually have to download anything. I know a lot of the tutorials say, hey, go download Xdebug, blah, blah, blah. MAMP already has this. The only thing that we need to do is find our, our PHP ini file. And there are a bunch of ways you can do this. The one I think is, is most handy is just type PHP dash dash ini. And then essentially it, it will show you where your ini file is at. And ours is here. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to do open and this and again it's, it should open it up in sublime if everything worked correctly and what we're going to do in the php ini file is at the bottom well in reality it may not be for you at the bottom so you may want to look for it but it's going to have x doc somewhere and it's going to say it's going to basically have it like this is open bracket closing bracket and then it's going to have um the x debug basically commented out. So what you want to do is remove the, the colons there or whatever those things are called and have those three lines. Now for you, you'll most likely only have this first line if you see this for the first time. So you just want to go ahead and put those two lines in there and essentially re ignore the rest. Really just ignore it. Uh, because this is stuff I was trying and playing around and uh, yeah <laughs> essentially all you have to care about are those first three lines now again the important part is in here should be your actual uh, PHP version now if if you're following the instruction it should actually already be the correct one so the PHP ini file should already have everything correct so all you have to do is just type those two lines and then click save and then we can continue to our next step. All right, the next thing we need to do, and now we're gonna switch into our browser and I'm using Chrome here. I'm not quite sure if this works anywhere else, but what I found it is to be, yeah, Chrome is what, where, it's, where it works for me. So this is what I'm gonna suggest you do too, is get this Xdebug helper, okay? So essentially you just add it to Chrome. What it will do, it, it will give you this little bug up here and it will allow you essentially to, to do the debugging, okay? So just get this, add to Chrome, and it will show this thingy here. 
All right, so our next step is to actually set up our IDE key in our debugger here. And to do this, we need to go into our extensions. So you go to settings and then you click on extensions. And my X debug here is at the bottom. And here you see this little thing called options. You click on here and then you pick whatever ID you have. In my case or in our case here, it's gonna be PHP Storm. So you just pick this and you're all set. All right, now it is finally time to start PHP Storm and actually, yeah, follow our example. And I'm gonna start a new project here in PHP Storm for you to exactly see what I'm gonna do and also set up a new local host just in case, um, yeah, it wasn't quite clear. So I'm gonna go to file, new project from existing files and in there, I am going to click the first one here. And then I'm going to find my, my folder, I guess my local host. And for me, it's under users, admin, and then I have it on local host. Uh, this is a custom local host. Uh, you may have it somewhere else. If you, if you don't know where your local host is at, you can go into MAMP and find out where your local host is at and there you'll see that. And then the current project that I wanna do is WP test and essentially you click on this, highlight this and set this as project root. Bam, and only now will you actually be able to see the next. And if you actually go in here, you'll see that everything is green, which means everything's in your project. I'm gonna click next. And now I'm gonna just add a new server. I have a bunch of servers here, some for testing purposes and yeah. So I'm just gonna call this local demo and it is the web server root and it's 888 because that's MAMP. You, sh you should have this in the default. If you're not sure where this is at, then just switch over to MAMP and MAMP will actually tell you where this is at. Again, preferences. Uh, it will tell you the ports 8888 and this is where it's at. So I'm gonna click next and it's gonna check this for a second. And now here it, it tells me the path of where my files are at and also on, on MAMP, the actual files are also gonna be on WP test. Oops. So if, if you ever visited your site, this is essentially where it's gonna be at. So we're gonna finish this. And we are gonna do this window. Now, ma'am feels like I have changed something. I actually didn't, but I'm still just gonna enter this password. Anyway, this window. All right, we're finally getting closer to actually debug something. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start listening to external connections. So this is either this little button here or if you don't have the toolbar, it's under run, start listening for PHP debug connections. And what you see here is the little icon changes. And that means we are listening to external connections. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to set a breakpoint. So we're going to go to the same file, which is our functions.php file in a 2014. And we're going to open this and I want my breakpoint to be right here. And once we have set our breakpoint, the next thing is to actually start the debugging from the browser. And to do so, we are going to navigate into our browser and we are going to go into our local host. And then WP test. This is where we were at. WP test. And once this beautiful standard WordPress installation started up, what we want to do is start our little bug and basically set it to debugging. All right, so let's set the little bug to debug. And once you're done debugging, you can just click on disable again to stop the debugging. And at this point, before we do anything, I would quickly like to go back and see what we actually did. So in our browser on the actual, I guess, website, and in this case, we're using WordPress, we set the little buggy to debug. 
And the other thing that was important in PHP Storm, we set the listening part for the external connections. And of course, we set our breakpoint. Now, this is the setup you should do every time you want to do a fresh debug. So those three steps. And now when you do this for the first time, there's something else that's going to happen, essentially building that connection. So I want to walk with you guys through that right now. And essentially the way this is started is by just refreshing the page. All right. So the first thing that happens if you come back to PHP storm here is you will see this incoming connections from X debug. This is something that happens automatically and you don't have to do anything. If this doesn't show up, something's wrong with your settings. Now here, what I'm going to click on is I want to debug my entire project here. So essentially from the root and I'm going to click on accept. And if this works correctly, your debugger is going to start. Now you are, yeah, things are not quite working yet. You see here, there's a little error. And it says remote file path is not mapped to blah, blah, blah. And essentially the way to fix this is we're going to click here on click setup path mappings. And what we're going to do is we are going to untick this box that says use path mappings. Essentially we're telling X debug or in this case, PHP storm. Hey, there is no, there is no path mappings because we are essentially on our, yeah, on our server already. So don't worry about this. And once you disable the path mapping, what will happen is that the debugger will start on the absolutely first file. And if you see here, that's index.php. So we're essentially in the absolute root of our WordPress. And this is where it's automatically set. So from the PHP storm settings, actually you can set this up however you like it, but this will only happen the first time you do this. So don't worry about it. So essentially we're in the first line. And if we right now want to advance to our breakpoint that you remember is in our functions theme file, who knows what other files get opened along the way or which, yeah, which functions get executed, but to proceed, we're going to click this little play button here. So essentially I'm not sure how familiar you are with debugging, but this is essentially resuming the program until the next breakpoint. So we're going to do this. And if everything worked, we're going to show up in our functions.php file at our breakpoint. And in here you have all the normal debug tools that you should be used to or have maybe seen in other videos where you can access the variables and obviously all the tools where you can step over functions and whatnot. And obviously if you want to run until the next breakpoint, or if you don't have one until the programs end, you just click here on, on the screen button again, resume, and it will run through. Now, just one thing, why do I use PHP storm? I mean, I'm quite honestly a diehard sublime fan and almost nothing will get me to change except for this. And where, where PHP storm, in my opinion, is much better is exactly this part here. If you hover over a variable in the debugger, it will show you the value. And for me personally, especially when dealing with WordPress, this is massive because you can see here, there's a ton of variables here. And until I actually find my content with, that's a pain. And obviously I could set up watch variables or whatever, but that's also annoying. I just want to open my program, create a breakpoint and just quickly check out all the variables, evaluate expressions, step into see other stuff without setting up the watchers and stuff. So for me, this is the main reason to use PHP storm with X debug. Hopefully this was helpful to you and you got it to set up. I mean, for me, that was a huge pain. There was no real guidance or anything. So hopefully my work and my yeah pain and screams and whatnot got you to set this up. If you have any question or if something doesn't work out for you, please ask in the comments below. Now, granted, I'm no expert, whether with PHP store nor X debug. So I'll try to help as much as I can. But if you have a question, try it. I mean, the worst thing I can say is I don't know. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this. Let me know if you like that and speak soon. Take care. Bye.